Hi everyone, it's Devara from JH Kids here to talk about sleep time. Sleep time is one of the seven essential activities that we should be doing daily, according to Dr. David Rock and Dr. Dan Siegel, who created the Healthy Mind Platter. They say that when we give the brain the rest it needs, we consolidate learning and recover from the experiences of the day. Raise your hand if you get enough sleep. Hmm, I don't see many hands up. Okay, how much do we need? Adults should be getting seven to nine hours in a 24 hour cycle and primary age children should be getting 10 to 12 hours per night. That means if you're up by seven, you're asleep between seven and nine. According to doc Dr. Dawkins, studies have shown that kids who regularly get an adequate amount of sleep have improved attention, behavior, learning, memory, and overall mental and physical health. Everyone is different and you need to understand your own needs. We all know an overtired grump when we see them. Can't concentrate or focus or follow directions. So easily triggered. Too tired to play or walk or carry their bag. And I'm not just talking about the kids. We aren't getting enough sleep because our days are stretched. We have so much to do and we also need our downtime. Can you look at what you do in a day and try and re reconfigure it to be less intense? Are we doing everything that we have to do or are we just filling our day with a lot of non-essential things that we could be doing at another time? Have a look at your healthy mind platter. That's what you wanna be filling your day with. But what if you're having trouble getting to sleep? A wind down routine really, really helps to set the structure and the, the, the process of getting to sleep for children and for adults. And this includes turning off all screens up to an hour before bed. It can be dimming the lights, it can be singing a song or telling a story. Together with your children, you can create a routine. And if you enjoy your, if you include your children in this process, they're a lot more likely to, to buy into it and to, and to enjoy it. And before time, you'll see that by setting a set time every night that you wind down and go to sleep, you'll wake up the next day feeling a lot more refreshed and the way you function during, during the day is completely dependent on how much sleep you had the night before and the quality of that sleep. So good luck with it. Let me know how you go. I'm off to catch a quick snooze before picking up the kids. See you next time. Bye.